This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here on Facebook and YouTube. Since I've been doing these videos, one of the questions I've been asked is whether you can use noxalic acid vaporizer with the hive doctor floor. Initially it concerned me quite a bit because the hive doctor floor only has 8 mils of space, 10 mils of space, from the floor to the bottom of the frames. And I was concerned about the heat of the vaporizer burning the, uh, the plastic, and I burned a hole through one of them, but I fixed that. Uh, and whether there was enough gap between the frames and the uh, and the iron, and I've burned a few frames. So I'm just going to show you how you put this in, the vaporizer in, and one of the problems. So using the hive tool, come in here, lift it up, going in the entrance way. You don't need to go in very far, but look at this frame. This frame has now risen up by about eight millimeters. And you see what happens if I tip it. So that means that the vaporizer is actually sitting on the bottom of that. When it gets to the couple of hundred degrees that it gets up to, to vaporize the oxalate, then it's gonna be burning the frame. So I thought about that for a fair bit, and I've come up with a little bit of a solution. And so, all my hives have been appropriately modified. And to that end, I've made up a little ring. This is 20 mils deep, and it sits over here just the same. Now the big advantage is, when that goes in here, like that, the vaporizer is off the deck, so it's not touching the plastic, but it's also below the level of the frames. So when I sit that box on there, it, I can't reach these frames. So you can see the vaporizer down there, and it's a long way above the plastic down here. I can actually get my little finger under there, and it's a few millimetres, about five or six millimetres, away from the wood. And that radiated heat is not going to affect me. Now the further I pull this back, the bigger the gap is here, and the smaller the gap becomes down below. So you've got to make a bit of a compromise. So I think sticking it in about that far cures that problem. So. I've now overcome the problem with the vaporizer, either burning the plastic or burning the wood. But we've found a little side effect. This extra 20 millimeters that I've put in here, and there's a couple of other people who are doing exactly the same thing, they've found that it's actually helped with the ventilation in the hive with this being up off the ground and more space on the floor because if you remember that the old beekeeping floors used to have a 20 millimeter ridge all the way around that the box is actually sat on. Unfortunately that allowed field mice and such like to get in. Well this has still re retained the integrity of stopping field mice getting in but it's improved the ventilation that's back in the hive. And even though there's now almost 30 mils underneath the frame, I am not getting any build-up of burr comb under here. This is still staying completely clear in the bottom box. Still get bridging comb between the next box up. That's a different story. 
So that's it with the vaporizer and the hive doctor floor. This is Trev from Trev's Bees and we'll catch you around in the beehive or on YouTube and Facebook.